Let's discuss conventional water treatment methods. Improving the clarity of surface water has always presented a challenge because source quality varies. Suspended particles carry an electrical charge which cause them to repel one another. The conventional process uses aluminum sulfate, or a better term, alum, and cationic polymer to neutralize the charge. That allows suspended particles to clump together to form more easily filtered particles. Alum combines with alkalinity in the raw water to form a white precipitate that neutralizes suspended particles electrical charge and forms a base for coagulating those particles. Conventional technology uses a 30 to 50 milligram per liter dosage to form a large flock that requires extensive retention time to permit settling. Aluminum sulfate is the most widely used coagulant in water treatment. Coagulation is necessary to meet the current regulations for almost all potable water plants using surface water. Large microorganisms including algae and amoebic cysts are readily removed by coagulation and filtration. Bacterial removals of 99% are also achievable. More than 98% of poliovirus type 1 was removed by conventional coagulation and filtration. Flocculation the process of bringing together destabilized or coagulated particles to form larger masses which can be settled and or filtered out of the water being treated. In this process, which follows the rapid mixing, the chemically treated water is sent into a basin where the suspended particles can collide, agglomerate, or stick together and form heavier particles called flock. Gentle agitation of the water and appropriate detention time, or the length of time water remains in the basin, can help facilitate this process. The water is slowly mixed in contact chambers allowing the coagulated particles to become larger and stronger and is now called flock. As these flock particles mix in the water, bacteria and other microorganisms are caught in the flock structure. Depending on the quality of the water source, some plants have pre-sedimentation for two reasons. First, to allow larger particles time to settle in a reservoir or lake like sand or heavy silt, reducing solid removal loads. And second, it provides an equalization basin which evens out the fluctuations in concentrations of suspended matter. Sedimentation the process of suspended solid particles settling out, going to the bottom of the vessel, in water. Following flocculation, a sedimentation step may be used. During sedimentation, the velocity of the water is decreased so that the suspended material, including flocculated particles, can settle out by gravity. Once settled, the particles combine to form a sludge that is later removed from the bottom of the basin.